Guys, I know what you've been thinking. All my long-term CFC fans out there, you've been wondering, whatever happened to that mythical A7S III that I pre-ordered? Well, I've gotta come clean. I canceled that pre-order, and it felt great. Let's first start by looking back. I'm not the only one thinking it right. I look little in these shots. I really age that much in two years? We'll blame the mustache. Now the reason I wanted to look back at this footage, guys, is because I found this old clip of this face. Now, if it isn't obvious, this is genuine excitement when I received my Blackmagic Pocket 4K, and I've been lucky enough to order a lot of cameras. This one I was the most excited for. And the point being is, is that when I got it, I shot with this thing all the time. But then, well, that changed. After a few months of using it extensively, I kind of went on an efficiency bender, is what I like to call it, and suddenly this camera, well, it didn't really fit the bill. The battery life sucks, it's kind of quirky, oddly shaped, and there's no autofocus, the screen doesn't flip, you guys have seen my videos. The point being is, Efficiency Jake thought this camera sucked, and well, it sat. It sat on the shelf for a while. And then, as many of us know, 2020 happened. And quickly, I was less concerned about pumping out three videos a week and just more concerned about finding joy in making videos again, which is why I started this channel in the first place. And I'm not gonna lie, I found myself reaching for this camera again. It's a pain. Again, you've gotta hook up a battery if you wanna shoot for more than 20 minutes. I, it doesn't have a flip screen, so maybe you need a monitor or to set up an object for focusing, but I was having fun setting up lights. I was having fun making scenes. And this camera just produces an image that feels like a movie. Throw in DaVinci Resolve 17 and well, I gotta say, I'm falling in love with this camera all over again. So that pretty much wraps up my first reason. Don't worry, I'm gonna bring it all together at the end, but I wanna switch gears and talk about one badass bald man in particular who played a huge part in my cancellation of my A7S III pre-order. The man, the myth, the legend. A7 III King Color Science Master Caleb Pike from DSLR Video Shooter. Now I'm sure many of you, like myself, have problems with the A7 III color science. Well, look no further, and I don't want to steal too much of his thunder, because I'll put the link to his video in the description below, but basically, Caleb Pike has you covered. For the quick 10 second synopsis with the A7 III, if you're shooting an S-Log, you don't want to use S-Gamut, that 8-bit codec can't deal with it. Instead, you want to be using the 709 color space, and trust me guys, it looks good. I even have a couple of shots in this video that I used it for. So I guess in sort of a roundabout way, reason number one was me falling in love with my Pocket 4K again, and reason number two was, well, with a new awesome profile, falling in love with my a7 III again. And now for my final reason, the icing on the cake, the nacho. I'm sure you've heard it on the internet before a million times. Gear doesn't matter. Guys, that's a lie. The statement should be changed to cameras don't matter. If you've bought a camera in the past three, four years, and heck, even before then, cameras have been amazing for a while. But you know what does matter? Lights. 
lenses, microphones. Let's go. So I stuck to my word, creativity from constraints. It's my mantra. I say it in every video. And instead, I decided to buy a new fancy light and a kick-ass microphone. Creativity from constraint. I saved a boatload of money instead of buying a $3,500 camera. Both the new microphone and the new light cost a fraction of what the new camera cost. And here's the deal. I want to let you guys in on a final dirty little secret. I would bet money, a lot of money, that with my old lighting setup and microphone, that my videos would have looked almost the exact same as they did before, even if I bought the A7S III. A better light, a better mic can make your production value go through the roof, and it was way cheaper than buying a brand new, expensive, professional camera. Don't let YouTubers fool you into buying cameras you don't need. So now for the part where I wrap this all up and bring it all together. First and foremost, I want to point out that a Blackmagic Pocket 4K, a sharp Micro Four Thirds Prime lens, a V-mount professional video light, and a professional microphone can all be bought for the price of a brand new A7S III body. And that's without a lens. And guys, I get it. The hype is real. The A7S III is a monster of a camera, but for most of us, this is a camera we do not need. The people most excited for this camera are the pros. And of course they're gonna post about it on their YouTube channel. Of course all of us are gonna watch it and get hyped and get excited and go, we need that camera too, but we don't. And sure, that's great for them, but for the rest of us, sure, a new camera is incredibly inspiring, but at a much cheaper cost, a new professional light, a new professional microphone, a rediscovered love for our old cameras, as much as when we originally bought them, I've found is just as inspiring. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. This one was a heck of a lot of fun. I canceled this pre-order a long time ago and it took me forever to make this video because I wanted to do it right. I wanted to make sure you knew that I was doing it for the right reasons and maybe to inspire some of you to do the same. $3,500 is no joke, even for professionals. That's a lot of money. And the fact of the matter is, is I have come full circle. I love gear, I love cameras, I'm a huge nerd but just seeing the results from a new professional video light has me completely inspired and flipped on my head. I don't, it's, it'll be interesting to see when I buy a new camera, what it will be, because I think most of my money is going to go around the production around what I already have. But that being said, I am curious, if you guys did buy the a7S III, 
why? Why'd you buy it? What was your reasoning? You know, d did you need 4K 120? Are you an action sports videographer? And that is like an incredible feature that you wanted. If so, I'd, I'd love to hear. So let me know down in the comments below. And don't forget, as always, creativity comes from constraint. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.